Hello, I'm Professor Solomon and I'm a cardiologist and uh, electrophysiologist. I'm specialized in electrophysiology, uh, pacemakers and defibrillators. I treat patients with abnormal heart rhythm that suffer from palpitations and different types of arrhythmias. Usually we treat patients with abnormal heart rhythm by medicine or by a minimally invasive procedure called electrophysiological electrophysi study and ablation procedure. The most common clinical arrhythmia that we see is atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation originate usually from the left atrium of the heart and especially from the pulmonary veins from the, of the heart. During the ablation procedure of atrial fibrillation, we advance a specialized catheter through the groin into the left atrium by making a small hole between the left and the right atrium. Once this catheter is in the left atrium, we perform a 3D map of the left atrium and the pulmonary vein using the specialized car to navigation system. This 3D map then is merged with the CT image of the left atrium. Once we have this map of the left atrium and the pulmonary vein, we perform a circular ablation around each vein of the pulmonary veins. And our aim in this procedure is to electrically isolate the pulmonary veins from the left atrium. Once we done the, this circular ablation around the pulmonary veins and we are satisfied with the result, we try to induce atrial fibrillation and see whether our result is good. Once we are satisfied, all wires and catheters are removed from the heart and pressure is applied to the groin. Sedation will be reversed and patient will be taken to the recovery room for additional monitoring. Every procedure we perform is different, but it may take two to four hours to complete in the ablation procedure. The recovery from the procedure is very fast and patients usually go home the next day from the procedure. Sometimes we have to give blood thinner for at least three months after the procedure, and then we reevaluate the need for this blood thinner. The success rate of the ablation procedure is relatively high, and it varies between 70 up to 95%. The success rate of the uh, atrial fibrillation ablation is range, the range is between 70 up to 90% and some of the patients may need more than one procedure. The success rate of SVT ablation and WPW or accessory pathway ablation can be very high up to 